Alright, are you guys ready to learn today? Remember, what's the first thing we need to do before we start learning? Do you know? We need to get our bodies ready. So, can you say it with me? Here we go. Crisscross applesauce, hands in your lap. Back straight, chocolate shake on your rear. Root beer, lip zit, cool whip, shh. All right, so let's do a body check. Are your legs crisscross applesauce? Is your back straight? Are your hands in your lap? Are you on your pockets? If you are, please give me a thumbs up. That means you're ready to learn. So last week we were talking about things that we could find in nature, some living things, right? So we're going to continue that this week. I actually had a question from somebody asking how squirrels climb trees. So I thought it might be a good time to talk about squirrels. Before we start learning, let's go ahead and see. Ask yourself, what do you already know? What do you already know about squirrels? We know that they're animals and we know that they live in nature. Now we need to decide what do we want to know about squirrels? Some things that we could ask. Hmm, how do they climb trees? Where do they live? What do they eat? What do they look like? And how do they communicate? Are you guys ready to learn with me? All right, let's go. The first question is, how do they climb trees? Very good question. Well, you know how you guys have ankles right here? Some ankles, ours go up and down, side to side. Well, their ankle joints are super flexible and they can actually turn their feet 180 degrees, which means they can turn their feet backward. That's really cool, huh? Another way is they have really, really sharp claws that can dig into the trees. They can use all four legs to climb up or down head first, or they can actually even hang from their back legs to stretch out in the mornings. All right, now let's answer the question, where do they live? Well, squirrels live on every continent. That means all the bodies of land all over the world except Australia and Antarctica. So they live, they live everywhere else except for those two places. So a lot of squirrels live in trees. Maybe they'll find a hole inside the tree or some squirrels, like the flying squirrels, actually build nests in the little nooks and crannies of the tree. There's also a such thing as a ground squirrel that they actually burrow themselves in the ground and that's where they live. Some squirrels even hibernate all winter long. Do you know what hibernation means? Hibernation is when you sleep all winter long. There are many animals that hibernate. Not all squirrels hibernate, but some of them do. What do squirrels eat? Well, they are actually omnivores, which means that they eat plants and meat. Did you know that? They eat fungi, seeds, nuts, fruit, eggs, and some of them even eat small animals or snakes. I actually saw one the other day that was munching on a walnut. It was so cute. I want to share that video with you really fast. Another thing that squirrels do is they collect a bunch of food and they save it for winter. Maybe they might put it in a tree or they bury it 
but that's their food supply all winter long when they can't find things. What do squirrels look like? Well, they have really long, skinny bodies, and they're, they all have fur, but it kind of, it's different, it looks different, and it feels different depending on what species it is. Some, a lot of them are, have short and soft and maybe silky fur. The colors could be like an off-white, uh, gray, we see a lot of those around here, yellow, red, brown, and even black. It depends on where they live and what kind of species of squirrel it is. Squirrels have a really big bushy tail. Have you ever seen it and it kind of moves around? They also use that to communicate. And squirrels have really big bulgy eyes. Finally, how do squirrels communicate? Like I said before, with their tails, if they're trying to warn another squirrel that there's danger or if they're trying to scare something away, they're going to wag it. They kind of wag it in like a, a frantic way or a very fast way. If, they're, if their tails are moving just a little bit, they're trying to get the attention of another squirrel, maybe one that they want to go on a date with. They also communicate with sounds. They make different, different types of sounds depending on what they're doing. Maybe they're trying to scare something away, like a predator, or they're trying to tell, use a sound to tell another squirrel that there's something dangerous close by. They also use, they chatter to their teeth to communicate with each other. I don't know exactly what they're saying because I don't speak squirrel. There have been biologists, they have observed squirrels and how they talk to each other. Communicating means telling somebody something or talking to somebody else. Humans communicate by talking, but sometimes we use body language to talk to other people too, right? Like if you're really excited or if you're sad. So we also use body language, kind of how squirrels use their tail, right? Fun fact, did you know that some squirrels, they're called flying squirrels, they glide they actually have a muscle membrane that helps them glide. And they can glide up to 160 feet. Up to 160 feet. Looks like they're flying, which is where they get their name. That is amazing. There's some other scientific words to describe squirrels. First of all, unlike the reptiles we talked about, they are they are mammals like us. That means that they're warm-blooded. That and their body regulates its own temperature. They don't need outside sources. They're also a rodent. A rodent is a gnawing animal, kind of like mice, rats, hamsters, porcupines. They all have these really big teeth in the front that just keep growing. Did you know that? The squirrel's front teeth just constantly grow and it makes it easy to gnaw on stuff. So each species of squirrel looks a little bit different but they still have the same kind of features. There are flying squirrels, there are ground squirrels, fox squirrels, red squirrels, American red squirrels. So there are all these different types and that's that determines how big they are, big or small, because there's also one called a Japanese dwarf squirrel and it's really, really, really tiny. We can figure out what species it is by the size, whether it's big or small, the color, whether they can glide or not, and what their, fa what their facial features and their body type is. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our discussion about squirrels. So now you can use your binoculars that we made to go out and find some. Maybe you can even, you can draw a picture of what you see. If you do that, I would love for your, your parents or an adult in your house to send me those pictures so I can see. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I would love to hear what you thought of the lesson. What was your favorite part? What did you find out about squirrels that you didn't already know? What would you like to know more about? please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. 
please be sure to subscribe to see more videos when they come out.